The range on the 2022 Ford E-Transit high roof cargo van appears to be quite a bit better than the 108 miles advertised. I calculated the range around town to be 152 miles on a full charge. Uh, then I calculated the range driving uh, 60 miles an hour on the highway and that still projects to 144 miles of range. Finally, driving at about 45 miles an hour on the highway, I get 180 miles of estimated range. The main limitations on this are that I have a relatively small data set, and right now uh, I had at most a few hundred pounds of cargo in the van. Still, it's really encouraging. And I have at least some numbers that show that Ford is doing some creative math at the lower end of the battery range, uh, probably to protect people from themselves. That's basically all the information I have today. Um, if you want to stick around, I'm going to tell a story. Uh, and then I have a bunch more details, but you already got the highlights. Electric car on road so dark to change the air, rewrite the start. My name is Dylan. I have been happily driving Teslas since 2015 and haven't shut up about electric vehicles since. Years before that, my friend Eric and I built an all electric home brewing operation after getting tired of dealing with propane burners and the other options that are out there. Now, he has a lifetime of legitimate restaurant experience. Uh, I like to do math and make things. We have had the idea to build an all-electric food truck for uh, quite a while now. We looked at all kinds of ideas over the years, but mostly just for fun because nothing seemed realistic. Should we convert an old vehicle or build off of something tiny and new like a golf cart? Uh, should we wait for electric pickup trucks and tow a trailer? Uh, last month, I was feeling a particularly strong case of not wanting to go back to my real job, and I dove into some of the current possibilities. Uh, it seemed like for once there were about to be some really cool options, but they were all going to come out really soon now, uh, or they were being sold to corporate fleets. That's awesome, but it didn't help me out until I basically stumbled across a brand new 2022 uh, Ford E-Transit cargo van at my local dealership literally the next day, uh, fresh from Kansas City. There are some reviews out there, uh, but not a lot of in-depth or real-world testing yet. Uh, I think a van like this has a ton of possibilities, and uh, I decided to buy it. Uh, see what it can actually do uh, in terms of range, in terms of uh, electricity delivery. Um, this is the high roof version. It's only rated for 108 miles per full charge. Um, my initial week of testing has shown uh, consistently higher range than that. From a full charge, I spent three days running errands around town. We have um, fair number of hills in Greenville, and those trips included some brief stretches on the highway and plenty of traffic at stoplights. I returned home uh, on day three with the battery all the way down to 5%, having driven 144.8 miles. Um, uh, using that 5%, it works out to 152 miles for a complete charge. It's a lot better than the 108 that they claim. The van reported that we had used uh, 56.2 kilowatt hours over that driving. Uh, so that gives a rate of 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, and that means that the 67 kilowatt hour battery uh, should project out to a massive 172 miles of range. 
uh, I will come back to that discrepancy. Uh, when I charged back up to full, uh, the van reported 56 kilowatt hours of charging, so it agreed with itself uh, on the energy used to charge back up versus the energy used to uh, get around town. It took me 79 kilowatt hours from the wall to complete that charge for a 71% charging efficiency. I wanted to see if I could isolate uh, any effect of mostly highway driving and at different speeds. Uh, all cars suffer from wind resistance at a higher speed, but I suspect it would be uh, a real issue for this tall van. Um, I did 14 mile loops, first at 45 miles an hour, then 60, and 60, and then back to 45. Um, at 45 miles per hour, uh, based on the percentage of battery remaining, I project 180 miles of range. 60 miles per hour, I project 144 miles of range using the same technique based on the numbers that I collected. Uh, over that driving, the car reported using 28 kilowatt hours. When I charged it, it reported putting that much back into the battery. It took me 37.5 kilowatt hours from the wall of AC power to do that, that gives us a 74% uh, charging efficiency on the second go round. For this testing, I did not see nearly the same discrepancy um, in terms of the battery percent displayed and what I would calculate uh, actually remains based on the kilowatt hours used. Here's that chart. On the left, you have a full battery. Uh, the red dots showing the actual percentage remaining uh, and the blue dots showing what the car tells us are almost exactly the same. Uh, there's a pretty consistent trend as we move to the right and the battery empties that the car shows uh, a little bit less uh, than uh, actually seems to be there. If these numbers are going to be off, uh, this is the way it should be designed. Uh, my guess is that it's intentional. They don't want anyone getting stranded, so they uh, effectively hide a little bit of reserve. Um, we could be looking uh, at randomness, or the car could just be calibrating itself. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. I did notice that on my second set of testing, where it was all highway, and it was all done with the battery over about 60%, there was basically no discernible uh, trend of this type. Uh, next, my plan is to see how it does with some significant cargo weight and pay attention to uh, some of the stuff that I've already mentioned that I thought was interesting. Uh, I'm also going to be figuring out how many solar panels I can cram on the roof, but that's a whole other story. Um, I worked a little bit on a uh, child-based measuring system, you know, two children tall, that sort of thing. It, it didn't really come together. Uh, I'm open for suggestions on what we'd want to uh, test out, and, and I'm definitely open for suggestions on uh, what the overall project should be. If anybody has some advice or wants to help, I would love to be in touch. I'll put some contact information in. Um, there's a lot of numbers and boring stuff here, but I, I think it might be interesting to some people. Thanks.